<sighs> we just went through Joseph Lombard's situation like almost three or four weeks ago. Guess what, folks? Another motorsports related YouTuber is a pedophile. Hoorah! Fuck. If you guys know me personally, if you guys know me in general, I take pedophilia extremely, extremely seriously. So that's why I want to do these kind of videos. It's to spread awareness and to expose the people who are bad. So for, for, so for those of you who are saying, oh, I'm just doing it for clout, I'm just doing it for attention, fuck you, get the fuck out of here. And there are some that actually defend pedophiles, which is actually fucking disgusting. So who do we have here? Well, one of the, mo one of the most well-known YouTubers in, motors uh, in motorsports and YouTube... Lewis Flockton, who was known for making the Crank It Up videos, Crash Compilation videos, all that fun stuff. And guess what? He was caught asking underage guys for nudes. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, Lewis Flockton is a homosexual. Don't get me wrong. I'm okay with that. I support straight, I support gays, I support lesbians, I support trans. However, if a homosexual or anybody does pedophilia things, I don't respect that at all. I don't. And unfortunately, in this case, Louis Flockton is a pedophile. So, what did he do? Yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Sorry. He asked for our, he's been asking underage um, guys for nudes for like a year or two, from what I heard. And earlier this morning, there's been a lot of buzz. There's been some buzz about some people opening up about what Lewis did coming forward. And I just want to say thank you to thanks Kane. Racing Helmet 9, NASCAR Guy 18, Todd Gillen Fan 13, I think that's his name is. I, I'll look into that later on Instagram for coming out, making your voices heard about what happened. You guys truly do not deserve what Lewis did to you. Nobody does. And to have people brave enough to speak up about it. It's great that we exposed a monster like Lewis. So yeah, if there's anybody that had any interactions with Lewis and he asked for like dick pics, for nudes and all that stuff, feel free to let me know. So with that being said, let's begin. So that's from Thanks Kane. By the way, all these guys gave me permission to use their evidence and all that stuff. So this is what Thanks Kane said. He said, well, this is a post I did not think I'd ever make. Most of you probably know of Lewis or have spoken to him. And if you, if you have spoken to him, you probably know he's gay. But about a year ago now, I was 15 and he was asking me if I wanted to send nudes. I was fairly sure he knew my age, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt and told him I was 15. His response was... Nobody has to know. Now that's a red flag right there. At that moment, Lewis knew he fucked up. Unfortunately, I don't have any screenshots of the conversation because uh, it was on Snapchat. All I have is a message of him saying I was good looking when I was 14. This post is just a warning to the community and hopefully if it happens, if it's happened to others, they can speak up about it. Sadly, there's been no evidence of like what Lewis has done. However, people coming forward into the situation. I know it's hard to open up and make your voice heard about what's going on. Tell everybody what's going on. I get it. It's hard. 
But again, I appreciate that you were brave enough to open up about it and expose in Lewis. This is from Kyle underscore Larson underscore fan 42. I'm going to start this off by mentioning Racing Home at 9 and thanks Kane because they have experienced the same thing. I've known Lewis Fogden for around 2-3 to three years now. We started talking with each other in private messages. As we began chatting more and more, it started to become sexual from his end. I was 13-14 years old at the time. He has made sexual requests, comments, and said other things about me as I was a minor and he was near or over 18. I was only able to capture some Snapchat conversations recently before cutting him off completely, which I will provide you on my story. Let me see if I can like look for that. This is not okay. This can't be normalized. Pre please Spread the word. Lewis needs to be stopped. Thank you. Also, I do want to apologize for messing up my English. Forgive me. And then this is from Racing Helmet 9. Let's talk about Lewis Flockton. First of all, I'm a minor. Throughout the last year, there has been multiple instances of Lewis coming to me, asking for shirtless pictures of me, or, or asking me to send nudes. I wanted to speak out about this. However, I didn't want to be the only one. Lewis Flockton is a creep. I'm sorry. I'm just speechless about the situation. Shit like this just pisses me the hell off. I don't know why pedophiles still exist in today's society. That doesn't make any sense. This is some bullshit, but... Nobody deserves this kind of stuff. Nobody. And then finally, I think this is the last one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this is from NASCAR guy 18. He said, bro, this man did the same thing to me. I had to delete the conversations because I was so fucking weirded out. It didn't happen that long ago either. Then thanks came, replied, we need to... We need to spread the awareness of this to stop him doing it to others. And then Todd Gillen fan 38 underscore, that's his name. He said, I am as well another victim. I'm 18 and was 18 then. I just got harassed. This guy is ridiculous. Master guy 18 said, I'm 17. So if he wasn't the U.S., I would report him to the police. And then Todd Gillen fan 30 underscore applied saying, understandable, I'm sorry, man. Lewis, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you? Seriously, just because you are a homosexual doesn't give you the right to talk to minors like that. That is no excuse at all. No excuse I'm surprised he didn't do some bullshit apology like Joseph Lombard did. After he was caught, um, he deleted his Instagram account. That is all. That is all. So he knew he's he knew he's fucked. He knew. <laughs> oh boy, you fucking pedophiles, you scums. <sighs> so I don't know what's gonna happen here on out. After the exposure, but th this shit needs to stop for the NASCAR and motorsports community. This shit needs to stop. Shit like this really does piss me the fuck off. And to have a fact, and the fact that we have a UK NASCAR fan, NASCAR YouTuber doing this to minors. Who's most, who's most popular for making radioactive videos, crank it ups, and crash videos for NASCAR? My respect to you, my respect to Lewis is already down the drain. Get fucked, bro. You got exposed. So, of course, there's no way Lewis Flockton's gonna recover from this, and I hope, um, I really hope that he loses popularity. 
because of his sick act. I don't know how the UK handles pedophiles. I don't know their laws. I don't know their penalties. So, Lewis going to jail? I don't know. I'm not from the UK, so if there's anyone who's from the UK knows about the how they handle, how law enforcement handle pedophilia, feel free to let me know and all that stuff. So I just wanted to like talk about this and I just want to give a shout out to Thanks Kane, Racing Helmet 9, NASCAR Guy 18, and Todd Gillen Fan 38 underscore for exposing Lewis. It's time to end pedophile. It's, it's, excuse my English. It's time to end pedophilia. Everybody can fight and argue about all lives matter or black lives matter. At the end of the day, deep down, everybody knows that pedophile lives do not matter. They are not human beings. They're monsters. They don't deserve to be in today's society. They don't. And to have Lewis, and to have Lewis Flockton getting caught with pedophilia, he's done. He is done. There's no way he's going to recover. Lewis, if you're watching this, thank you for wasting a couple of years of my life talking to you occasionally and watching your videos. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Surprisingly, he never asked me for dick pics or nudes or shirtless pics or anything like that, thankfully. And I feel sorry for the ones who were victimized by Lewis's sick act. <sighs> I just don't know what to say, so with that being said, fuck you, Lewis Flockton. Burn in hell, you stupid wanker. That is all I got. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Impress 48 signing off. I wish everybody a good day, except for pedophiles and people who defend pedophiles. Whoever defends Lewis about this, fuck you. <sighs> so that is all. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.